we need the fullness of the spirit we need to walk in the spirit oh i don't want to i'm okay see one of the two either you're born again or you're not born again or you're born again you're a child of god but you don't desire you seem to think well the old is better the old is better well i don't want to be a, because the holy spirit comes upon your life you're going to be a witness there'll be times that you will just you'll just keep speaking out to people and they would call you a fanatic they would call you by names they would say all kinds of things because the holy spirit in you would give you words to speak in that very hour and you may come home and say oh my god i spoke like this i didn't even realize that's somebody who gives place to the holy spirit to work in and through his or her life that's a vessel of honor you're a vessel of honor when you let the holy spirit do his his work in and through your life and he would say you'll be amazed when you come back and say and that person will be amazed to even hear a different tone of voice from you and say my what are you talking there's something that is different in your life and the difference is new wine in you it's gushing out of you it's just moving out of you and and we read the scriptures last time in in john chapter number 7 John chapter number 7 and verse number 38 or verse number 37 onwards Jesus in the last day that great day of the feast Jesus stood and cried saying if any man thirst let him come unto me and drink if any man thirst which means you must have a thirst Jesus said come unto me and drink and he that believeth on me as the scripture saith out of his belly or out of his innermost being shall flow rivers of living water rivers of living water out of your innermost being shall flow rivers of living water god wants you to be a river not a pond didn't say a little pond i'm so content he wants you to be a river is flowing out of you flowing out of you i don't want to be i don't want to be an extremist god is not going to force you into anything but i'm just going through some scripture that i'm encouraging you if you're a born again child of god you ought to be a river not a pond because the holy spirit is a river he just wants to move in and through your life he wants you to be a witness and he wants you to see the fun or what the holy spirit can do in and through your life that you wouldn't even you wouldn't even thought of doing but as you give him room to do things in your life he's going to move there are many things that we need to desire after the bible says desire after spiritual gifts if you don't desire you are not going to have it desire after spiritual things long after it say lord i thank you for the new wine you don't have to get drunk with the stuff that the tavern offers you you can be drunk of the holy spirit of god and bring glory and honor to his holy name let me show you the scripture in the book of ephesians chapter number 5 ephesians chapter number 5 and verse number 18 be not drunk with wine in excess but be filled instead be filled instead be filled instead be filled instead be filled i rather be filled full of the holy ghost doing things that would please my heavenly father and bring honor and glory unto his name that's to be living in the highest dignity highest when you do things in the spirit you may you may even talk with people and all of a sudden the spirit of the lord in you would read the minds of the people and you would be able to minister to the people and you wouldn't want to desire such a thing in life i'm amazed when some people say the old is better than the new okay i'm born again i'm a child of god i have the assurance in my heart that's good enough for me 
I'm going to be a pew warmer. Don't disturb me. Let me just be as I am. Sure, the Holy Spirit is not going to come upon you and try to get you off from your chair. But I know one thing, if you desire, He is going to do something new in your life. And He wants you to be a river. He wants you to be a river. But be filled with the Spirit. Speak into yourselves. That word yourselves also means speaking to one another, to yourselves and to one another. In psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melody in your heart to the Lord, giving thanks always for all things. My, there are a lot of things that are happening in your life. When you're full of the Holy Ghost, when you do things, you'll be different. You'll say, my, 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 this is joy. This is true joy. I can be so full of the Spirit. Speaking, speaking to yourselves in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, you will never feel bored because you're speaking all the time to yourselves in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs and singing and making melody in your heart unto the Lord. Wow, you can be so different than to be dry, than for us to be so good for nothing. Oh, I'm a born again Christian, I'm a child of God, I'm a Christian after all, but be dry as if I don't want you to be so. Wake up and be so strong in the Lord and say, I don't want to be dry. I want to be so full of the Holy Ghost that I'm just going to be a river. Words that come out of me are going to be words of the Holy Spirit. Things are going to be so different in my life. Go with me to the book of John 15. John 15, and this is what he says. John 15 and verse number 6. Or we read from verse number 4 onwards. Abide in me, and I in you, as a branch cannot bear fruit of itself, except you abide in the vine. Continue in the vine. Continue in the Holy Ghost. Now once in a while, continue, abide. Continue in the vine, in the Holy Ghost. No more can ye, except you abide in me. I'm the wine, and you are the branches. And he that abideth in me, and I in him, and the same bringeth forth much fruit. The only way you can bear fruit is when you abide in the Holy Ghost. You're seeking a fruit. Oh, I love to have some fruit. And people make us believe that fruits could be numbers of people, or, the, or, or, or some other thing they would try to fantasize and tell us, oh, here, see the fruit in my life. No, the fruit in your life ought to be when you abide in Him. You're going to bring forth fruit in your life. You're going to have some fruit in your life, some, some stuff that people can really enjoy off from you. People can so enjoy. I'm the wine and you are the branches and he that abideth in me and I in him. The same bringeth forth much fruit. For without me you can do nothing. Without the Holy Ghost you can do nothing. If you say that you are a child of God and you want to work, now many people have so many plans they make. In the Christian circle we find people have all kinds of plans and they kind of do all kinds of things, lots of things they try but they are still dry and thirsty and weary. They are dry because they don't do it by the Spirit. They don't, they don't hear what the Spirit says. They don't talk to the Spirit. They don't do according to the Spirit. They just want to fantasize Christianity and, and make it so fancy that, that the people look at it in the outward. But none of them are blessed. A lot of money is wasted. A lot of energy is gone. And the world just comes and enjoys for a while and they just go back. There is no permanent there is nothing permanent that takes place in the lives of individuals. But if you do it out of the Spirit, you do it in the Spirit, you're going to be blessed. If a man abide not in me, he is cast forth as a branch. If a man abides not in me, he is cast forth as a branch and is withered. And men gather them, men gather them and cast them into the fire and they are burnt. Cast them into the fire and they are burnt. God doesn't want you to be burnt out. And many branches are burnt out because there is no wine flowing in their lives. Discouraged as ever. No life in them. No witnessing strength in their lives. Dry as ever. 
Sometimes the world looks at us and says, my, I'd rather be doing what I'm doing than to believe all what you say and follow you because you are dry or worse off than me. So without the wine, we are of no use at all. So as we abide in the wine, as the branches abide in the wine, we're going to be fruit-bearing. Our life is going to be different, totally different. 